etie for mamin dem nyina mase emfa mbra ye chana yesu aha e ni mdie news update bia na ye de bra mu e wo kasa fidie yesu insem bebre na dane ye de nyina e de e koso ebusiafo me se se notification button no wo be tene ni on na wa subscribe se de bi bia any update bia won sabe ka no ahwe na bi bia aye kama kama insem bebre e koso e bra nche o mangi bre ni nko insem ni de e wo ho each directing the NBC on various disruptive, unfair, and outright crude tactics to aid its capturing of power in 2024. The secret document goes beyond the ordinary strategy or action plan you would expect a political party to operate with. This secret document is a deliberate ploy by the NBC to hoodwink Ghanaians. In other words, to dupe Ghanaians of their votes. From what we have read in the document, the NDC had a plan right from January 8, 2021 to frustrate the government and make it unpopular through foul means to win power December 7, 2024. One would think that any political opposition, opposition party would do the same. Indeed, that is not problematic if those plans are legitimate and in the nation's best interest. However, this document we have uncovered from the NDC promotes crude, undemocratic, and unpatriotic means of achieving political power. We will focus, as we go on, we will focus on the document's central theme. It has a central objective, which is for the NDC to obtain power by every means necessary, fair or foul, but primarily through foul means. The document admitted that the NDC lost the 2020 presidential elections fairly and squarely. Mr. Speaker has crossed the be careful line. In other words, Mr. Speaker is beyond redemption as a statesman who ought to help glue Parliament together and see to government business to further the lots of Ghanaians. Mr. Speaker is irredeemable. Even after the Supreme Court has spoken to stay his actions, the machinations that they put up, all the orchestrations they are putting up, is designed to ensure that no government business is done. They tried that from 2021. They've been doing it. It hasn't worked. But in these last days, they have purpose to do whatever they can, including disrupting and bringing Parliament to a halt. And so, Mr. Speaker's adjournment of Parliament Sunday Day is not by accident, it's by design. What is happening in Parliament at this stage is a desperate push by the NDC, having realized that its evil plot is failing and the NDC is more likely to lose the 2024 election. Remember, the MPP caucus in Parliament in a petition speaker Urban Babin said on recall the parliament. Now it's a memo to the right honorable speaker from the second deputy majority chief whip. It's dated 22nd October 2024. That's Emra. Subject here notice of meeting by request under article 1123 and order 53 of the standing orders. And the Jerusalem Mundo Mundo Bena at it is a Shana the MPP caucus in Parliament who would want to recall Parliament through the Speaker. And I could you, hmm, Basisiano, Yensa Aka memo officially from the second deputy majority chief whip to the Speaker of Parliament. And I will go through 
the memo for you na mu nyina mo hu sɛ de nyoma isi echo in the as i read no so people who hu a uba facebook and youtuber eh bengazi masendo memo no fa to so na amanfo into me and she be you can join us as we go through this memo we must say right honorable speaker respectfully on behalf of myself and the requisite number of members of parliament from the majority caucus i have the honor to address you on a matter of utmost national importance in accordance with article 1123 of the constitution of the republic of ghana 1992 and standing Order 53 of the Parliament of Ghana. We hereby formally request a meeting of Parliament. The signatories of members making this request are here to attached. Now, then he moves on to legal basis for the request. To ensure clarity and emphasize the legal foundation of this request. We respectfully draw your attention to the following provisions presented in order of constitutional and procedural hierarchy. Article 1123 of the 1992 Constitution, which states, quote, notwithstanding any other provisions of this article, 15% of members of parliament may request a meeting of parliament and the speaker shall, within seven days after the receipt of the request, summon parliament. Two, standing order 53-1, retreate, quote, despite any other provisions, 15% of the members of parliament may request a meeting of parliament and the speaker shall, within seven days after the receipt of the request, summon parliament. It would say the order in the standing order is no, it takes inspiration from the article in the constitution 1123. The most third point, that's the legal basis, no? Standing order 53 2 further stipulates Parliament shall convene within seven days after the issuance of the notice of summons. Okay, in the speaker no seven days. Ah, or the fre parliament. And uh say of fre parliament in Swa, the entire parliament will have to convene within seven days after say Sir, issuance of a notice of summons. Speaker, I must have notice of summons, no? Within seven days, I was at Parliament, Asia. Number four. Standing number 57.3 provides, quote, The Speaker may summon a certain of the House before the date or time to which the House has been adjourned, or at any date or time after the House has been adjourned, sine die. Number five. Standing order 58 for states, the speaker shall summon parliament within a period determined by the speaker and the requirement for a 14-day notice shall not apply where there is an emergency. And to a legal basis for uh, wanting to recall parliament, you know, and on the day I say, why do they want to recall parliament? Urgent matters for consideration. I say, we respectfully request that upon recall of the House, the following urgent government business be deliberated upon and transacted, including any other business that comes before the House. Into the urgent government business, from number one, I must say, request for tax exemptions for designated beneficiaries under the One District, One Factory program. Number two, Ghana Financial Stability Fund, an international development association facility of 250 million US dollars. And number three, bills. Bills, number say Environmental Protection Agency Bill 2024, Social Protection Bill 2023, Customs Amendment Bill 2024, Budget Bill 2023, Ghana Boundary Commission Bill 2023, and an Interstate Succession Bill 2022. Then they move to the context and justification. I 
As Mr. Speaker may recall, Parliament had adjourned sunny day on Tuesday, 22nd October 2024, without any explanation to the circumstance leading to the adjournment. You may also recall that at Concliffe, you confirmed the service of a Supreme Court order, which was explicit at the time the above stated items had been advertised and scheduled to be carried. We wish to emphasize that this request is made in utmost good faith and in the national interest to enable the government to discharge its constitutional and democratic obligations to the people of Ghana. The matters outlined herein are of pressing importance and require the urgent attention of Parliament. In the request for action, I must say, considering the constitutional and statutory provisions cited above, and in the exercise of our rights as members of Parliament, we respectfully urge you to summon Parliament for a meeting within the stipulated seven-day period. We stand ready to provide any additional information or clarification that may be required, and look forward to your favourable consideration of this request. Respectfully submitted. And so, Uko Parliament, uh, the second Deputy Majority Chief Whip, the uh, Honorable Alexander Jonoboa Tete, or the uh, MPP MP for the people of Sefi, Akon Tumbra. Honorable Akwabe, you see say you but I'm not the Okay. Now, Ubet one letter on behalf of the majority caucus to Parliament. A memo actually said, or recall Parliament to attend to some urgent matters. Okay. I found this portion of the letter a bit curious. Sir. Speaker, air journey parliament, see it, you know. Wama, any explanation to the circumstance leading to the adjournment? Is that you recall? So, we make a point, Miss Ah? Yes. I didn't hear. Let's hear it, sir. My name first, I couldn't hear with the nominal, the nominal, what you for. Sir, what you hear? Uh, and one in our tree, and a speaker, a friend, sir, in my parliament, and I'm a year to my family. My buyer, no. There were then was a brand and Munano and now minority leader a raised statement or than enter three one an urgent statement a draw speaker turns to one year maybe now on fees as a first speaker. But before then now Haruna and the petition a quakuma speaker we are ninety nine now a three petitioner as a semi panity me deco. The Haruna process no speaker and this so now minority leader Speaker, a dear audience statement, no man will make a comment on it. We are no more, sir, sir, four seats, you know, I vacant. And the leader, eh, and sir, and sir, and the court court, and the Supreme Court, and my order, sir, uh, Parliament, another speaker, uh, you know what they call, sir, seat, you know, four years vacant, you know, one stay on execution. Now, all my members of Parliament, you perform, and they all merge my opinions on the determination, you and it is a man on a buyer. A court concrete, you know, speaker can say, Miss Akin, a Supreme Court order. Now, Obama will be making the state, but before then, I'm going to tell you that a court sitting, you know, yeah, majority side in the Kako Travel Day one, and and it's one buyer, you know, about a Dijin Kunyano near you know, Mokikan Kunyana Bumi, I'm sorry, near the leadership of your court concrete, you know, speaker can say. When making a statement, am I a leader? Can say now, Sunday I need to run a call to pay the bill. Yeah, yeah, man. They are members of council leaders. So now they are in command. They are in charge. And I am not saying that they don't mean they can but on banana they are making statements. I am not being making statements. It is based on Supreme Court order and then the way Parliament and the CIA and so on. I don't see it. And I don't think that this is an explanation. As a speaker, I don't mind any because you buy say Baba be here, you must care. Uh, yeah, but I would say, speaker, and so yeah, okay, sir. And mind you, sir, after sir, Mokosia or Conclave, no more members of the majority, no more ma parliament who be you left equal equal to now more officers in the time a speaker even making a statement, no, now and now they are more. And speaker made the point, sir. 
as per members of parliament present, no, or no quorum to conduct business, but no quorum to make decisions based on which uh, our journey parliament seen it there. It is a way in your explanation enough. Uh, what else were you expecting him to say? Yeah, Obi Amon, my friend, is in a tenant, concrete from your coin, on the mission to me preamble in a cancer. And upon a boy eight o'clock, your court chamber, and your majority chief of another play, and a deacon with chamber. And I mean, honorable Habib. Then you know, what now? The majority side of your clan, your coin, la your cunha men, the attorney, and I never hope to be on one system be via because of our parliament on the right side of the speaker, no, a majority, no, and the MPD or two will be on. Oh, a year ago, Wakuna won with Tibun. Who's sorry now, Kasa? Big screen nature within no membership and the constraints are representing. No money. Yeah, good now, when is one of Biden? And I'm quite true. I'm only there, sir. I'm going to have front. And by the kind, yeah, they are one of our better now. And the only members need to be a buy and tell one sort of number of clients because they are the majority. Yes, they know. Yeah, no, on this speaker, Abba Babi will say, I'm a majority, no, yeah, in Sorinko. The leader, everyone in there, no, here, the way I'm here, my second. And I am the EMP, on Pegri, because what the lady, and I said, no, they are co-court. In the entrance, speaker, now, when head of the institution, now, they can be video train. And I acquire a press conference, and I buy the office. And check there for 10 minutes, and I'm afraid I'm going to leave this, and I acquire. I acquire the speaker, I can't say, when you are, Supreme Court order. Nobody make a statement on it. And now, your leader, Alexander Yomaki, be saying, he said, so the end is one occupy your prison. The end is in corner, no one will get it, he said, and so no, he said, 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 he you think what number the end is one of the occupy where you want. The acquire offices, no money rule in EV, not to say your bar chamber, never to have that government business, your bar. And no tina, I might ever try your offices. And you know, at the end of the day, you know, say, tell me, I acquire, and this is one of the column, and the year. And I bet that more material movement, you know, and not there, no more taking the major decision, be all. Now we are starting to say, speak of the cancer, sir. Now, what is your office, uh, Supreme Court, the state of execution, or then maintaining, not a man and a head? No one can't have done also, I've done a house in the city, Italy. And I don't know the day, no, you have a bear, a buyer, Juma de Amano, El Penia, my listing, and it's in a request to say, I guess I'm not parliament because constitution in my point, saying any per fifteen percent, I beat in a record parliament, but that is why I drew my leadership on one more authority to do that. Yeah, but I see, I know. Uh, said your work and I mean based on some when the requ requisite amount of signatories no and the number of signatories no uh move it to me uh I'm a speaker I recall a parliament but when when parliament comes back na said yeah we lead a country speaker I said Basse say one mama and quan quot na baby I was a mutna na and ya dear move a parliament about the juma so I'm back, and I'm still at the ECBOR, and then I'm back. 